Is astrophotography hard? Yes. Okay, thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Could you imagine if that was the whole video? So is astrophotography hard? I think yes, but it doesn't have to be. When you're first starting out, you could go along and buy some really expensive equipment like what you can see behind me, along with a big mount and all the fancy software and things like that. And before you know it, you've spent thousands of pounds and you've got no idea how to actually use the equipment that you've just bought. I don't want to put people off going down that route straight away, but astrophotography means many different things. Whether that's just a wide field shot of a specific part of the night sky, a Milky Way shot, a shot with just your smartphone pointing at some part of the sky, maybe a specific constellation, something like that. It could just be holding up your phone to the eyepiece of a telescope to take a picture of the moon or a planet. You know, there are lots of different ways to do astrophotography before you actually get to any of the sort of equipment that you can see behind me that can cost multiple thousands of pounds. But if you really want to get into deep sky astrophotography, taking shots of galaxies and nebulae and star clusters and things like that, all of the things that I do on this channel along with many other channels and lots and lots of people on social media, then yeah, I think it is hard. And to be a deep sky astrophotographer, you need to be so many things. And I don't say this to put anybody off at all, just to manage expectations going in. First of all, you'll need a lot of money. And I joke, but that is kind of true. You'll also need to understand things like how a tracking mount works, how your camera works, what camera settings to use, what type of light pollution you have, what calibration frames are and how to take them, how to use software such as Deep Sky Stacker, Photoshop, PixInsight, how to power all of your equipment, how to actually get all of the equipment that you've bought into a rig that is actually capable of taking deep sky images. And you need to understand all of those things before you've even taken a single image. And that all might sound really scary at first, but hopefully by the end of this video, I'll be able to talk you into the fact that you can definitely do it. Trust me, if I can do this, then anybody can. And that list that I've just described is largely focused on deep sky astrophotography, but even with a camera and no tracking mount or perhaps just a smartphone. You're still going to need to understand the night sky, how to get the best out of your camera with the correct settings. You're still going to need to know how to use programs like uh, maybe Adobe Lightroom or Photoshop or something along those lines, maybe GIMP if you're looking for something free. And so there's a lot to understand even if you're just going after a very simple setup. Each type of photography is different and astrophotography is no exception to that rule. It of course has its own maybe unique challenges, looking at you clouds, but I think once everything comes together, then it is probably in my opinion, the most rewarding type of photography that you can do. And I think the difference with astrophotography, and this is any type of astrophotography, with the exception of perhaps a smartphone shot of the moon, I think astrophotography is something that not very many people will ever actually do properly. And so it is quite a unique type of photography. And I think there's something really special about that. Particularly if you go down the deep sky imaging route using equipment like you can see behind me, then you'll spend hours imaging just one part of the night sky, you know, one specific deep sky object. And at the end of all of that, you might have gone through some frustration and things weren't working right the first time or anything like that. You might have waited a long time for a clear night. But when you get those first subs rolling in off the camera and you eventually get round to stacking them and going through post-processing software like Photoshop or PixInsight, when you do that sort of first curve stretch or something like that and you can see the incredible detail of a galaxy or a nebula that you've captured using own gear in your own backyard, then I, I just don't think it gets any better than that. And for me, there's nothing quite like a night under the stars. So. In a world where uh, we're all really busy, uh, the planet's a little bit messed up at the minute in several ways, um, taking a bit of time out in the evening slash night, um, looking up at the sky, whether that's just to take pictures or simply just to look up and enjoy staring at a blanket of stars, uh, I think that's quite a relaxing way to spend an evening. For me, it's a chance just to completely switch off and it opens up a whole new perspective 
on life when you're looking at something that is much bigger than yourself. So to go back to the original question, is astrophotography hard? I, I think yes, it is, but it is absolutely 100% worth it. And I'm not really sure what I wanted to achieve with this video, to be honest. I just sort of hit record and started talking. But I, I really hope that it's just inspired a few people that are either wanting to get into the hobby but aren't quite sure if it's for them, or have maybe started the hobby and are finding it quite um, frustrating or stressful or something like that. Or even if you're a seasoned veteran that's just a bit fed up with astrophotography at the minute, whether that's because um, things keep going wrong or you've bought some new gear, haven't had a chance to use it, and you know the weather's always rubbish, particularly in the, in the UK. I hope it's inspired people to you know dust off that equipment and, and get back out under the night sky and give this amazing hobby a go. And I realise I've thrown a lot of probably rambly information at you there hopefully some of it made sense if you're wanting to look deeper into any of the topics that I've spoken about whether that be you know power how to set up your equipment what equipment is the right equipment to use you know, light pollution filters telescopes cameras etc how to use your camera how to you know process an image using Photoshop or similar then I've got loads of videos on my channel so do consider subscribing and give this video a like if it was of help to you because that really does help it spread to more people so thank you so much for doing that my name is Nick you've been watching Astro Exploring and I will see you in the next video